Okay, so got this. Uh, you got this all turned down. Uh, half inch space between here, and now uh, I'm gonna uh, drill that uh, for uh, one size under three eight, and um, I'm gonna have to run a small boring bar in there. Uh, course it's got to be a flat bottomed hole and uh, then we're going to uh, ream it with the uh, 3 8 uh, reamer so uh, let's get started on that Okay, so now the drill bit left this 118 degree uh, taper down in the bottom of that hole, so I gotta square that out and cut a little relief in the back of that. Um, so I gotta go look for a small boring bar that it can fit in here and um, take a little bit out of that. So uh, let me go dig around in some of my uh, tool bits and uh, see what I can find. I'll bring you back uh, when I'm ready to go. Okay, so I've got a little little boring boss set up in here, and um, dial indicated we got to go in 906 thousands, and like I said before, we gotta we gotta flatten out that hole, and um, we gotta put a slight undercut in there. Um, they really don't give any dimensions to that uh, for that undercut, um, but. Um, but the hole that is going to uh, charge the cylinder is um, seven eighths of an inch on center from the edge here. So, um, all right, we'll get into that a little later. So let's get that uh, hole bottomed out there, uh, flattened out.
All right, so I got this uh, reamed out, and I don't have a 3 8 uh, gauge pin. My, uh, my set of gauge pins only goes up to a quarter of an inch, so uh, something's on the things to get list uh, eventually. But I have a, a 3 8 end mill, and um, it's got that nice pop to it at the end, so I'm pretty happy with that. And um, so I got to, um, like I said before, I got to put a little undercut in the bottom of that cylinder and uh, going to get working at that. Now there's going to be a hole that's going to be the inlet port for the cylinder. And uh, I think I mentioned before that was um, seven eighths of an inch um, from the edge here in. So just mark that for some reference here. It's 875, right here. And that hole's got to be a sixteenth of an inch. So I'm thinking thinking that little uh, relief is going to be um, a 32nd on either side of that line. Um, so, uh, let me see, I might have something with a little bit of a profile on that. Let me look in my box of uh, tool bits and um, once again, I'll uh, bring you back when I got something we can use to cut that relief in. Alright, so uh, come across this in my box of uh, tool bits and um, I think it's enough just so I could cut a little back relief in there so I'm just going to go in and uh, pretty much bottom that out almost and um, let's, if you look at this this is how I came up to that uh, it's pretty much in line with that uh, that that mark so that's about the center of that there so it's pretty much if I put my carriage stop to where that is about there so when I come back in this way That's right, that's right up against the carriage stop again. So I'm just going to tighten the carriage in place and I'll just come back and I'll cut a relief. Um, oh, I don't know. Like I say, I don't give you any dimensions on that. Uh, probably about uh, 25, 30,000 steep. So let me uh, zero out my dial here. Okay, so there, yeah, I got a little groove in there. I could feel it. And um, so that should be sufficient there. Uh, so, I'm thinking the next step will be parting this off. Okay, so let's part this off. And um, 